dual mode electric drive from Arvin Meritor allows the vehicle to start out in pure electric mode, accelerating up to approximately 48 miles per hour in a zero emission mode. At approximately 48 miles per hour, the engine will start operating the vehicle in the efficient torque range of the existing diesel engine. Basically the uh, generator that's on board acts as a starter to start the engine and then we just transition over to uh, conventional diesel mode. Uh, there's top two operation up above 50 miles an hour so there's two speeds available. Our approach is unique as applied to a class 8 truck. Um, and it's unique in the amount of electrification that we're doing, the size of our electric machines, the extent upon which we rely on these electric motors and generators to deliver power to the wheels. I kind of think of it as a small locomotive in a way. Basically, we've taken off a lot of components and replaced it with very simple electric machinery. Hybridizing, you know, one commercial vehicle, one Class 8 truck, is the equivalent of the same impact of trying to do 50 cars. So it's it's a tremendous fuel impact. But because of the amount of electrification we've taken on board, the power of our electric machines, and so forth, uh, we can actually operate for a fair amount of time in city conditions on just pure electrical power. So in that sense. Uh, you know, you won't have any diesel emissions. The truck is going to accelerate faster and smoother acceleration, so you won't have all the interrupts of, you know, in a conventional truck, it goes through a series of shifts, you have interrupt in torque and power. Uh, you won't have that with this particular truck. So in city driving conditions, uh, it will be easier to operate, easier to drive. So a big problem in the industry is always driver retention, driver training, these types of things. This truck should be easier to drive, so that will provide an economic benefit for fleet operators. The one benefit of our system is we have a tremendous amount of electrical power available. So we have lots of opportunity to electrify other things on the trucks, like for example, refrigerated transport. So if you pull into a hospital and you're making a delivery, you don't need to leave that engine running. There are some other uh, applications within the Class 8 market that uh, we're only beginning to explore. You know, this is a pretty aggressive approach to electrifying a Class 8 truck. Uh, it's cutting edge technology and it's got a couple more years of development to take it to production. But between now and when that full production starts, when you're able to go to a dealer, place an order, uh, the typical fashion, we are certainly going to be needing to do a lot of tests with customers. Uh, it's a whole platform for changing the entire way the powertrain operates, including the engine. So there's going to be opportunities to continually improve efficiency, not just when we launch it at production, but well into the future. It opens a whole door of a flexible optimization around the truck that I think is going to carry it forward well into the future.